keep you updated on the capital and financial markets, here is a recap of what happened. The Securities Commission Malaysia announced a new electronic payment hub, also known as ePath, which provides a more seamless and secure way for market participants and the public to make online payments to the SC. ePath is part of the SC's digital transformation initiatives and enables an easier online payment process for various regulatory and registration fees related to most submissions made to the SC. These include fees for, among others, applications for initial public offerings, transfers of listing, as well as takeovers and mergers. ePath, which will officially launch on 1 May 2023, will help enhance the overall user experience through faster and more efficient processing of payments, integration with a range of payment methods, including credit and debit cards, online banking, and access to real-time tracking of payment status. India's market regulator may allow mutual fund managers to charge performance fees on top of the set base fee, according to Reuters, citing an official document it reviewed. The Securities and Exchange Board of India plans to introduce performance-linked fees for select mutual fund schemes as an incentive for fund managers to deliver better returns, the news agency says in a report on 21 April. The plan would see a reduction in the base fee, and additional fees charged based on performance. The base fee is currently capped at 2.25% of the investment amount. India's securities regulator has banned stockbrokers from pledging clients' funds with banks in order to safeguard investors. The prohibition is effective the 1st of May and all existing bank guarantees created from clients' funds must be terminated by the end of September, the Securities and Exchange Board of India says in a circular on 25 April. According to the regulator, stockbrokers are now pledging clients' funds with banks, which then issue guarantees to clearing corporations for higher amounts. This implicit leverage exposes the market and especially the clients' funds to risks, the circular states. Pursuant to discussions with various stakeholders, it has been decided to implement the ban and winding down of existing guarantees, measures in order to reduce the risk and safeguard the interests of the investors. Stockbrokers' proprietary funds and such funds deposited with clearing corporations are excluded from the ban. Thailand's securities regulator has proposed measures to strengthen management and disclosure standards of Islamic mutual funds in order to enhance the confidence of Muslim investors. The funds will be required to strictly conform to Sharia principles by investing in assets that comply with guidance set by a Sharia board or Sharia advisor, the Securities and Exchange Commission, Thailand says in a statement on April 25. And Islamic index funds must only invest in Sharia-compliant benchmarks developed by reliable and broadly recognized index providers. The regulator did not say when the new rules will become effective. Prime Minister Fumio Kishida on Wednesday called for fundamental reforms to Japan's asset management sector to boost its investment performance, part of a push to direct people's savings into high-yielding assets for wealth creation. It is important to fundamentally improve the asset management business, Kishida said during a meeting of a key economic and fiscal policy panel. The Prime Minister instructed the Financial Services Agency to come up with specific steps. The FSA already has a list of issues that need to be addressed, including products not suited for long-term asset building. Most Japanese asset management firms are affiliated with large banks, brokerages or insurance groups, making them susceptible to the wishes of the parent companies when creating and managing financial products. The latest e-zine is now available for download at FIMM's official website. This edition features articles on the usage of social media for investment marketing, an introduction to vulnerable investors as well as the recent Global Money Week. Download your copy today and stay informed about the latest developments in the industry. This has been the FIMM TV Weekly Recap. Be informed, stay updated. Be sure to like, share and subscribe.